Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the nth Maclaurin polynomial for this function. In this case, n is equal to 2, so we just have to go up to two derivatives. So the formula for the nth Maclaurin polynomial, in this case n is 2, would be p sub 2 of x is equal to f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x plus f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial times x squared. And this is not so hard to memorize. Um, you can think of f of 0 as being divided by 0 factorial, and you can think of there being an x to the 0 here. And then you can think of the first derivative as being divided by 1 factorial, and this is x to the 1, and then you see the second derivative matches the 2 factorial, and it's an x squared. So if there was another one, like if it was n equals 3, we would go to the third derivative divided by 3 factorial and nx cubed. So let's go ahead and work through this. So first we'll start by finding the derivatives. So I'm going to write down f of x again. So f of x is equal to the secant of x. And let's find the derivative. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So secant x, tangent of x. And now we have to find the derivative again. So this is going to require a product rule. So the second derivative. So let's see. Let's think of this as the first piece and this as the second piece. So the product rule says you take the derivative of the first piece. So in this case, the derivative of the first is secant tangent. That's the derivative of the first times the second piece. So tangent of x plus the first piece, so secant x, times the derivative of the second piece, and the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Let's just double check our work. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent, so that's the derivative of the first times the second, plus the first times the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared. Things look pretty good. Now we have to plug in zeros for everything. So let's go ahead and do that. So f of 0 is simply the secant of 0. So keep in mind that uh, secant of x is 1 over cosine. Right? It's 1 over the 1 that starts with the other letter. That's how I uh, memorize it. So in this case, cosine of 0 is 1. So you just get 1 over 1, so you just get 1 f prime of 0 is equal to secant of 0 times tangent of 0. So it's going to be 1 times, and then tangent of 0 is 0, so we get 0. And then f double prime of 0 is equal to, let's see, so we have all of this. Well, tangent of 0 is 0. Right? When you plug in 0 here, you'll get tangent of 0, which is 0, so this is just 0. Plus, and then here you're going to get secant of 0. Whoops, secant of 0 times secant squared of 0. Uh, so just, those are all 1s, so you just get 1. Okay, so the final answer, I guess we can come back up here and, and plug it in, is equal to, let's see, so f of 0 is 1, so we have 1. f prime of 0 is 0, so that whole piece goes away. And then f double prime of 0 is 1, so we just get plus 1 over 2 x squared, because 2 factorial is 2. So we just get 1 plus x squared over 2, and that should be the final answer to the question. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.